Hey everybody, welcome to another recap of Survivor. Last time on Survivor, John was blindsided despite Shambo's psychic vision. So everybody who's left pretty much agrees that Russell's the biggest threat. And he's super rich. Yeah, that came out. I was pretty shocked because I didn't think uh, Russell was going to let that little secret out of the bag, but apparently he did. So there's no reward challenge this week. It's right straight to the immunity because this week I was delighted to find out that they're power packed in two tribal councils. So excellent. So the challenge is survivor bowling and it's one on one matchups. Uh, each uh, team while well, fighting against each other, gets one frame each. The winner moves on, and the loser is out. So uh, in the first matchup, Shambo defeated Natalie, and then Russell defeated Brett, Jason defeated Monica, and Dave defeated Mick. So in round two, it was Shambo versus Russell, and Shambo won. And then Jason versus Dave, and Jason pulls it out of the bag. So it came down to, in round three, Jason and Shambo. And Jason won by the skin of his teeth. So he's got immunity. And everybody knows the plan is for Dave to go. And Monica immediately starts stirring the pot. She goes over to Russell and is like, you know, you got to start thinking about the jury because uh, I don't know if you can win against Shambo or not. So Russell goes to Dave and makes a plan to get rid of Shambo. And it's time for Tribal Council already. This was such a deliciously short uh, half episode, you know, half a show with one tribal. And it's all about strategy, according to some people, like Jason. But if you're Shambo, it's all about who you think deserves the money. And, by the way, I didn't vote for John. And don't think Jeff didn't notice that you were uh, working the jury there. Don't act so innocent, Shambo. So, and then Dave comes out and spills the beans on, uh, yeah, you're better with me than some other people to the end without saying anybody's name, Shambo. And, uh, yeah, so Jason keeps immunity, and it's time to vote. And unfortunately, well, or fortunately, depending on what you think, Dave was voted out by seven votes. Sham wow! So, Foa Foa is now officially in the majority. Immediately, Russell starts talking smack about Brett, and Mick is freaking out because <laughs> it's getting close to the end, and he's worried about his own hide. And in turn, by Mick freaking out, that makes Russell freak out. So let's get right to the immunity challenge. Uh, it's a water one. They all have to go out into the water, and the ultimate goal is to get three bags, one at a time, of course, and launch them out of the water, you know, bring them back from the water, launch them into your basket tower. This is the first uh, challenge where I remember everybody being so weak. I mean, these people were having a rough time just walking out uh, to the water and back. Brett was leading immediately, and he ended up uh, leading with two, but Mick was uh, very close behind. And it actually came down to Brett and Mick, neck and neck, and it ended up being Brett winning immunity. Which kind of sucked if you're on Foa Foa, because he was the one who they wanted to send home. But they had to go to plan B, and that was Monica, and she knew it. So, immediately she starts working on Mick, and Mick is like, yeah, Russell's a snake, but it's like the old snake playing with the kid, you know... If you play with the snake and get bit, what do you expect? Because it's a snake, and that's what they do. So then Monica goes and starts stirring the pot with Russell, and is like, um, yeah, I know you're rich, and if you put me on the jury, I'm not going to give you my vote, because I think you don't deserve the money. So Russell totally freaks out, because he didn't know that anybody told the people other than Foa Foa that he was rich. So he went and starts yelling at Natalie and Jason. I don't know if he actually yelled at Mick. That wasn't in the edit. But yeah, Russell is freaking out. He doesn't know what he's going to do because he doesn't know if there's a big target on his back or not. So at Tribal, Russell trots in and immediately puts on the hidden immunity idol. 
awkward. It really was. It really was awkward with him sitting there like with the immunity idol on like, yeah, I dare you. And Monica was totally delighted. And let me just say, I couldn't stand Monica from day one. So like her sitting there like the Cheshire Cat like pissed me off to no end. And um, Brett's keeping his immunity. Of course he is. He ain't gonna give it up now. Uh, Russell ends up not playing the idol. And I was on the edge of my seat. Monica ends up getting voted out. And then they had to change Russell's diaper because I literally think he crapped in his pants. Whew, crisis averted. So next time, this is an important one, the alliances are shifting. Everybody's paranoid because nobody knows what's going to happen, and I'm not sure if Russell can use his immunity idol next week. So, no, I guess he can, otherwise he would have played it this week. So, I guess there's one more uh, tribal council with the immunity idol. So, till next time, much love.